Oh there, today I'm going to show you another great little tip, trick that will help you solving your Sudokus. And in this case, we're going to use uh, 1 and 3. Got 1 and 3 there, 1 and 3 there, so that means that 1 and 3 can't appear again anywhere on that row. And we've got 1 and 3 again there, so they can't appear anywhere on that row. And so if we think about this little box there, then we've got these two little cells here and we know that we don't know which way around they're going to be but one's going to have one and one's going to have three or vice versa three and one so what that helps us do is it doesn't help us solve those two cells but it'll help us solve um, another cell in this row and it's nothing to do with one and three this time it's actually to do with the number five so if we have a look up here We've got 5 there and 5 there, so that stops 5 appearing in either of those two columns, so we can't have a 5 there or there. And if we look over here on the right hand side, there's a 5 up the top there, and that stops a 5 appearing there. So if we have a look along that row then, a 5, um, the only spare cell then is that one there. To have a five that one's already got a number in it that can't be a five that's got a six that's a one or a three one or a three and that's can't be a five can't be a five and that's got an eight so in that case we've used um those two cells there we, we know don't exactly know what numbers are going to be um, in either cell we've used that to um to help solve an adjacent cell